Rumors are that Bravo is allegedly worried about Carlos King's influence in Atlanta. What do they plan to do about it? I have some new information that may answer that question and more right after this. What's up, Ken Folk? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. Alright, Ken Folk. Come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Bravo is worried about Carlos and his influence over the ladies in Atlanta. What do they plan to do about it? I have some new information that may answer that question and more. And here it goes. So Kim folk, my sources are telling me that allegedly Bravo and Carlos are having a private war over Bravo talent. Allegedly, Bravo feels that Carlos is a threat to their ability to retain and recruit new female talent to the network. Bravo's female-led reality TV universe, said one source, is officially not the only game in town. The source continued by saying that Carlos and his proven track record are producing must-see TV and his solid relationships with a lot of women in and around Atlanta has proven to be a threat to Bravo. So, what is Bravo's plan to keep Carlos away from their top tier talent? Well, allegedly, their plan is to simply stall and use more ironclad non-compete clauses in their contracts. Sources believe that rumors are that Carlos cannot wait to sink his teeth into the Atlanta market with a new installation of his love and marriage franchise. Allegedly, Bravo knows this and is one of the reasons why they may be stalling to greenlight Porsche's second season. One source said, that the rumors of Cynthia returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta were not by accident, but by design. Sources believe that Bravo may have allegedly leaked the rumor to persuade Cynthia to stand clear of any other reality TV offers from other networks. And so, Kimfo, when you think about it, this kind of makes sense in a way. One part of the rumor that I could see as being factual is the fact that Carlos does have a great relationship and great working relationships with women in and around Atlanta. And for Bravo, that could definitely be a threat because Carlos Clean King does have a proven track record. So if a lady feels that Bravo made low is lowballing her offer to join their franchise, then Carlos King could be waiting in the wings and saying that we can give you a little bit more. But also, what Carlos King is really good at, and which I think he uses as a marketing tool, I think he also may tell the ladies, not only will we give you a little bit more money, but I will help you craft your storyline and make sure you tell your story. And rumors are that Carlos King has a great rapport with all of the ladies he works with because he wants to see all of them win. So, a little bit extra money, coupled with that sincerity of, I want to see you win, and I want to guide you and help you navigate through this reality TV world, is a pretty appealing offer. So, I can see how that could be a threat for Bravo in trying to retain and recruit new talent. Second, the second part of rumor that you know, that could be factual is allegedly how Bravo is stalling Porsche's new contract for a second season of her spinoff. That part, I can kind of see 
because the non-compete cause, if she has one in her contract, probably is up by now, simply because it was a one season of filming. And so they didn't know the track record of the filming or, or the track or didn't have a track record of her uh, filming performance. So I don't see them putting in a very extensive or long-term non-compete clause over maybe a year after filming has completed. So then the only way that you could potentially get Portia to stay at the network if all those other things are true is to dangle a second season in front of her and keep her grabbing at that second season and potentially not entertaining any other deals elsewhere. And then lastly, the whole rumor of Cynthia um, and uh, returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta, I felt kind of, was kind of odd. And the reason why I felt it was kind of odd because it came out of nowhere. And I thought to myself, when have we ever heard of a housewife returning back to uh, the franchise before the current season has even filmed? Like, we don't even know how the current season will go down. And from my sources are telling me is that Bravo and production feel extremely confident with this new season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. If you look at their trailer, it looks like good, solid, and consistent drama mixed in with some sisterhood moments and some fun moments that a lot of fans have been asking to return, that have been asking that be returned back to the whole dynamic of the ladies friend group. And so now you have this rumor that Cynthia is going to be brought back next year. It just simply didn't make any sense. So I can kind of see the rumor is that I can see how the rumor could be that Bravo or someone close to production could have allegedly leaked that rumor just to put that little nugget in Cynthia's ear. Like just hold tight. We're going to bring you back next year possibly. But until then, do not entertain any other offers. Because when you look at Cynthia, Cynthia has pretty much the best formula and the best opportunity to really shine in the love and marriage Atlanta. Simply because she's newly married. We know her and Mike are having issues in their marriage, according to them. And that's pretty much the premise of the entire show. Love and marriage and the trials and tribulations of being in love and married. So she'll be the perfect person for Carlos to poach away from Bravo. And I think Bravo knows that they really can't afford to lose Cynthia. Because as we've seen in the past, whenever you bring an old housewife back to the franchise, it always creates this um, excitement about, oh, wait, they're back. What have they been doing? We want to see more of them. And so Cynthia is really an a, a ace in their pocket. So I don't see them letting her go so easily. But Kim folk. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think Carlos is uh, is such a talented producer and recruiter that Bravo should be worried about him potentially poaching um, future and current uh, housewives or talent over at Bravo? Or do you think Carlos is pretty much um, a smart man and that with his talents and his uh, eye for producing uh, reality TV drama, he could take any lady of, of success in Atlanta and turn them into a reality star. And he doesn't, he doesn't necessarily have to go back and pull other ladies he'll work with in the past to do so. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, Kim folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.